But first, tornadoes touching down in the Bay Area, leaving this damage multiple times in just over a month. And tonight, forecasters say it could be the sign of an active tornado season this winter and spring. Tonight, Wendy Lane joining us live in Pasco County in the neighborhood where a tornado touched down there yesterday. Wendy. Yeah, the National Weather Service actually says it was an EF1 tornado that touched down on this front yard yesterday morning while the homeowners were outside drinking coffee. We were sitting on the porch having coffee. This big oak tree turned completely around before it snapped and fell on the cars. The roof ripped from their home, vehicles destroyed, but thankfully Sunday's tornadoes did not hurt anyone. The tornadoes had wind speeds around you know, 90 miles an hour and they're quick, they're short lived, they're skinny. Uh, you don't get a lot of notice they're coming. This on the heels of multiple EF1 tornadoes that hit across the Bay Area on November 2nd. It's so scary. It just came out of nowhere and it was gone. Never would have expected it. But forecasters say get ready to expect more. The National Weather Service says Florida averages about 52 tornadoes a year, making Florida 10th in the nation for states with the most tornadoes. And they expect this winter and spring to be more active than usual. For this cool season, take any warning seriously because we are in an El Nino. That tends to bring the jet stream over Florida more often. Forecasters say weather patterns this winter are looking similar to what caused deadly tornadoes to hit central Florida in 2007. So they want people to watch their local station and take any warnings very seriously. So we're going to have an active cool season this year. It's not going to be your typical no weather cool season. And February through spring is normally peak season for tornadoes, but forecasters say now through spring there could be strong storms that potentially could cause more tornadoes. Live in Pasco County tonight, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News. Yeah,